But anyway, all right, so um, I'm just going to go over the seasonal grid paper that is available now. And I think it's already available. Um, it's really cute. It's got the designer series paper. I showed it last week, but in case you weren't here last week, it's just so darn cute. And I, it'll probably last through the holiday season, but it's just too, too cute. This is the toil, um, however you say that. <laughs> Hi, Dot. Um, designer series paper. And then this one I think is from the plaid one. And then they have the other, the new paper pumpkin one, which is little doggies on it. This one you probably can't see really good. And I showed it last week too, but I'm also gonna get this one. I use it like crazy. But let's see if you can get it, if I can get it closer where it's so, so cute. But I wanted to talk about that again because it is available and I, I use mine for everything. I use it to measure even for my boxes. I, whenever I, I have something that I'm going to make, I put it on here, measure it, and then I know exactly how big I need to make the box. Hi, Laura. And okay, so before I forget, Marilyn Kirshenman Brown um, was the one from that one last week for sharing. So just email me your address or not email. Well, you can email me or you can message me, message me just on Facebook here. All right, I didn't want to forget that. And then the new catalog, of course, is live. So all of that. And I don't think there's, oh, um, we are getting our new trimmer. Um, we're going to be able to pre-order it. If you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order it. October 1st. I'm super excited. I did look at it and we have a little video out if you haven't seen it and you're a demonstrator you need to look at it. It's, it looks really nice and it looks like it does have 8th or 16th inch on it so I'm super happy about that. So anyway I'm um, and then I hear that they are working on a um, new like die cutting machine but we don't know anything about that. All right, so that is it. So I'm with the project. Now, I have two versions of this. We can, I can go over both of them. They're both made the same way, but they're ones for like Thanksgiving and one is for Christmas. So um, if you wanna see one or the other, just tell me which one you want to see. I cut for both of them. So if you wanna hang around a little bit longer and wanna see them both, I'll, I can do both. But there are these little um, Ferrero Rocher boxes. It holds four of them. And it is a window box because you know how I love the windows. And so I did this one for a Thanksgiving or a fall version of it and this is using our fall um, designer series paper which is I got them both pulled out the come together designer series paper so it's this one right here and we're use I am using that one for this and then the other one is for I'm using the my one of my very favorites which I'm using it so much of it is the let it snow is this one and it's got the glitter specialty um, paper so it's really cute and then we're i'm using the opposite side actually of the little hat one so let me know do you want to see them both do you want to see one and you know you can figure out the other one because they're both the exact same box hi sis they're um, just different colors and I use this one I embossed these I stamped and they really are pretty quick and easy you want to see them both Karen anybody else I mean it'll be a little bit longer that well you know we'll be on here because you know I have to cut the windows and stuff but it it doesn't matter to me it's all up to everybody so but they're I love actually I love them I like them both but I really like how this one um, I embossed. So I'm using for both of these, the same stamp set and the same punches. So it's the to every season. This is actually one of my favorite. I love the little images on here. 
So, um, but I use the thankful each day for you for the, the one for Thanksgiving, and then I use the Merry Christmas for that. And you do have to use the smallest images on here because it coordinates with the punches. And it is a bundle. If you get them together, the ever see, every, every season punch pack. So there's those two, and you've seen me use the bat before, and then these. And I think this is gonna be one of those that might carry over. Hi, Kuchina. And um, because it is has every season on it, it even has hearts for like Valentine's Day. So I'm hoping it does, because it's I really, really like this one. I like those little images. All right, so let's first go ahead and do the um, Thanksgiving one first. All right, so for this, I need to get my little cheat sheet out here. It, these are nine and a half by seven. <laughs> we look like twins. You think so, Deborah? Everybody says I look more like my mom's side of the family and my other sisters more like my dad. So I don't know. I do, a lot of people say we have the same kind of smile. So, all right, so this is nine and a half by seven. And then we are going to use the largest of the stitch circles. And then we're gonna use um, this one from the layering circles. You can use whatever fits the size window you're gonna put in. This one on the inside is about two and an eighth inch. So, and then um, this fits perfectly on top of the box, so the way that I did this one. And then you are going to need, I'm using just scrap of that for that the little circle around the window. And you're gonna just need a bunch of scrap colors that you wanna use. And uh, this is the designer series paper. And these are two and seven eighths by one and three eighths. And then this window sheet piece is two and seven eighths by one and three eighths. I've been really um, having a hard time getting these all up because I'm working on so many projects now for the holidays. I'm having a hard time getting all these up on my YouTube channel. So I'm gradually working on it, but you may have to look at it again for the measurements until I can get it up on, on there. All right, so we are going to score this first. And I need to grab my paper here, it got in the way. All right, so on the nine and a half inch side, you're gonna score it at one half. Oh, I always do that on the half inch, it always wants to get away from me. And then at three and a half, at five, and at eight. And then you're gonna turn it, and you're gonna score it at one half. It's a long one. <laughs> at two, at five, and at six and a half. All right, let's go ahead and just score the other one the same, and then that'll get us a little bit ahead on here. So this. All right, let me get my scissors out here. So the half inch side here, this is our top that's gonna fold inside the box. So you're cutting these four pieces right here off. But save it, because you can stamp on this and make your some leaves with this part if you wanna add this color leaf. And then we're gonna cut each side in here down. <laughs> oh, when you're working out, you watch them, Karen. 
Okay, and then I just cut these like in half. I like to make them a little bit smaller. It's just easier to fold it in. And then we're just cutting it like that. And we're gonna do the same on this side. I have to concentrate, like if I'm on the treadmill or something, I'm getting really bad where I really need to concentrate on what I'm doing. I usually watch TV though. Okay, come on. And then we're gonna cut in on these. These are the flaps that are gonna fold inside. So there's a lot of little pieces. I always, I don't keep the really little pieces like you know like this but i do keep pieces that are are big enough to stamp on and i have like those envelopes that i keep my designer series paper in i have those and i have them color designated for my scraps so we are going to and i still haven't found my bone folder i looked everywhere for that and I still can't find it. All right, so on this one, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, what do you call it? <laughs> mat them first. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. I'm gonna mat it first, and then um, we'll cut the window in it and then put the window in it. So I'm just gonna use some snail to to mat it. Usually I like to mat it afterwards, but this one seemed to work really good to mat it before. Hi, Marilena. And then now you can put any kind of candy in here. I did make it to fit four of those. Um, Ferrero Rocher, however they say that. I can never get it, but um, this one looks like it's a little bit bigger. I don't know why, but I might have cut it a little bit taller, but it's okay, it works. All right, so then I'm gonna just bring the big shot up here and we'll cut out our piece for around the window and then we'll cut out our window. Okay, you see I've been cutting out the little <laughs> um, boxes. They're so cute. All right, so first let's go ahead and grab that scrap. And this is Mary Merlot. I just, I really like it for a fall color. Hi, Christine. It's really pretty for fall. So this one, just layer them inside of each other. Just try to make it as even as you can. Now I like the um, stitching. That's why I chose this bigger one. So it'll look like that. And then we'll just go ahead and cut out the window. And we're just using this smaller one for the window. All right, so this will fit in here. I'm not gonna run it all the way through or I'd have to fold these in. So I'm just going to center it on the top of that. And I'm gonna center it as close to the center as I can do, and then we're going to just run it through just enough to cut it and then I'm going to run it back but you can put like even those little tiny cookies in it all right so here is our window sheet there's our window so I'm going to use wet glue for this Oh, Christine, I'm making some um, little candy boxes. So they hold these Ferrero Rochers. It holds four of them. 
So this one's a fall one, and then I'm going to show the Christmas one after. But you can put anything in them, like some little cute candies and stuff for the holidays. And then I really just started gluing these on. I used to use my tear and tape and stuff, but the glue does not show after it dries. So I really like that. All right, so we are going to sharpen these like we do all our other boxes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you can fit quite a bit in it, Linda. It's, I'm not exactly sure. It's three by three by one and one and a half. So it's pretty tall. And you can do it with an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. So, all right, so we are gonna use the wet glue again to put it together. And then you just line those up. So the box is pretty, really pretty quick and easy. It's the, it's the um, decorating part that, you know, cutting out all the little leaves, which they punch out so quick and easy too, but, you know, stamping them all and everything. And then the, uh, the Christmas one I embossed, so that does take an extra few extra minutes and then just the one more hi Barbara oh you're not I'm you're not that late I'm gonna do another one the exact same way Barbara so you aren't gonna miss anything this one is I'm gonna do one for Christmas this one's like more of a Thanksgiving one. Oh, and uh, if you <laughs> I did this last time when I made my first ones. I forgot to stamp the top and emboss it. So um, I just did it afterwards because you can still do it by um, putting it on here. It'll lay flat. So you can still do it. So I'm gonna do that and emboss the, the writing on it. It says, thankful each day for you. And so I'm gonna use the Versamark. And on this one, I'm using the, I think it's the silver. And I use the white on the other one. So I'm going to just stamp this. And when you stamp on uh, the window sheet, just be sure you just go straight down and, um, and not move it around because it'll be all smeared if you do. So just push it down and then just lift it right back up. And then we'll just use the silver embossing powder. I still love embossing. After all these years, oh, I forgot to use to my um, embossing buddy, but hopefully it won't be too bad. I can use my finger to get some of that off. There we go. And then I'm going to heat emboss that. So if you don't like the noise, Hold your ears. It is kind of noisy. And I like to, when you're embossing on window sheet two, make sure that you um, keep moving it around. And I usually put the heat underneath and on top at the, you know, doing it this way. And you want to heat it and get your hot, your, your glue, your hot gun, <laughs> your glue gun, your heat tool hot before you put it on there. So it doesn't warp it. So I'm going to make sure it's hot first before I put it on there. And then we're just going to run it over that. And then I'll do the back side too. And you can see how fast it'll emboss. So then take it right off once it's embossed. And since I didn't use my embossing buddy, I did get a few little um, specks there. But it's still really pretty on there all right so it didn't warp at all oh yeah it's really pretty on window sheet dot I really like to emboss on it it's a little bit tricky because you got to make sure your heat 
your heat gun is hot before you put it on there because you don't want to warp it. All right, so we are going to put our little frame around it. And then I'm going to just um, stamp my all of my leaves and then just punch them out and we'll put those on. So I'm using um, Pear Pizzazz, Cajun Craze, Tempting, not Tempting Turquoise, this is our new one and this is Mary Merlot, Pretty Peacock. And then I'm going to just stamp the same color on the stamp the leaf on the same color paper same color ink same color paper and i'm going to just do two of each i think two was enough let's see one two three four five six seven eight there's nine on there so we can do a couple let's do three and then we'll just use what we have so I got to clean this each time I change my ink. And then here's the Cajun Craze. So that's that one. These are all like some of my favorite fall colors. The only one other one that I don't have out here that I'm using is the Daffodil Delight I really like too. It reminds me of home. All right, and then this one is the Mary Merlot. And then the Pear Pizzazz. And I did, when I put these on, I did use the little dimensionals, the mini ones. So <laughs> they, they're really, really tiny and sometimes my fingers don't handle it well, but we'll see. All right, so we're just gonna punch all these out with the coordinating punch. All right, so these are those little mini dimensionals. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> and then we're just gonna take those off. I need to make my little bow too. On the other one, I didn't go all the way up, but I had extra of the leaves. So I, I made the leaves go all the way up. But like on the one for Christmas, um, I just use six of them on there. But you can go all the way around. I think it'd be pretty all the way around too, if you, if you want. All right, so I'm gonna make a little bow first so I can put that on there. This one, this is the, um, what is it called? Braided linen, linen th trim. If I'm missing anybody's comments, I'm sorry, it's hard to look up and at the same time as I'm doing it. <laughs> but I'll answer any questions if anybody has any questions after. I like this little braided trim. And I'm just gonna have it right there ready for when we get ready to. So I'm just gonna stack, you know, change the colors and kind of change the direction of the leaf too a little bit. Can't believe I'm actually getting these off pretty easy. I usually struggle with it. I think we need another green. And I think I'll put the bow there. So I'm just gonna use a glue dot for that. All 
Oh, thanks for the hearts. Then I think I'm going to put this one going the opposite direction. That's what I did on the other one. Kind of fill this area. I'm gonna do that one. Oh, thanks, Karen. And then I'm gonna put another one. Thank you, Kachina. You can even go all the way around with these, too. Oh, thank you so much. All right, I think that's probably good for this one. I really needed to use the um, our little embossing buddy so it would keep that static away because on on the window sheet it tends to really static up so that's that one thank you so much for the hearts it's so sweet <laughs> I appreciate that all right so that's the fall one it's that one right there but you can put any any kind of candy in it that you like um, they really like at like Sam's or at those discount stores you can buy these Ferrero Rocher's in really big packages and they're really not expensive and they're so good all right so that's that one so let's do the Christmas one which is this one and we already scored that one, so got a head start on that. So we'll just cut this one. Up. So this is again the half inch. We're going to cut these four off. And then we're going to cut down the sides of this one. I love window boxes. I could make just totally all window boxes. <laughs> and then we're going to cut these in half like we did on that other one. And then cut in. Oh, are they dot? I need to get some then. I usually get the ad to the uh, paper, but I didn't even look or the little things they send in the mail. These are really, really good for like the holidays, like Christmas. I love the window boxes. Yes. Okay. So here's the, the other one. I'm going to keep these bigger pieces. Yeah, me too. I love, um, I love all the holidays <laughs> projects. They're like, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen these and then we'll, we'll mat these. All right, so now I need the pieces for this. So we're only using two colors for this. Oops, I just dropped all my little pieces. All right. So these are, I think it's two and seven eighths by one and three eighths. These are the ones that we're gonna mat. I almost hate covering up the little 
hats because they have little glitter on it. But I like this side of the paper too. I'm kind of like a paper hoarder. I shouldn't say kind of, I really am. My sister, my other sister, not um, Diane, but my other sister, she has started doing her videos too. So go check her out on um, Sweet Serenity Stamping because she does a lot of 3D, I, a lot of 3D projects too. And she does, she used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator too, but um, she doesn't, she hasn't been doing Stampin' Up! for a while. All right, so now we're ready again to bring the big shot up here and we're gonna run this piece through to go around like we did the other one. And where did I put my uh, dies that I had? There they are. You always should put them back on the magnet sheet. And for those of you who um, don't have one of these, this is the little stamping mat. I never used it. I started using this and it makes a huge difference. So I've been doing this for over almost seven years. I think it's already seven years. I think it just turned seven years. And I never used this, but I just started using it because I heard somebody say something about it. <laughs> and it is so good. It makes your images, it, when you're using photopolymer, you need it. Not with the rubber stamps, but the photopolymer ones. All right, so we are going to, let's run this one through first. Just like we did the other one, just line it up. And if you need to use a sticky note to hold it down, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh, you can do it too. Whenever I've had a class, you, you do it too, Diane. <laughs> okay, so here's our little... Piece, and then we're going to use this little one for the window and keep these circles too you can even use this as a mask for a project all right let's get this off of here and then this one sometimes I need to put a little piece of tape on that to hold it not tape but sticky note you don't want to use tape it'll tear up your cardstock all right so whenever I hear that little click I know that it's gone through and we'll have a little window there keep that little circle too all right so now we're ready to put our window in this one And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead, I think, and emboss this first. It makes things a little bit easier when it's open all the way. Although it, it's not really hard when you do it the other way either. So I'm going to use my mat. You can see it, it's really flush there. And this is the little embossing buddy. So it keeps the static off there. And it looks cloudy at first, but once you get it, done it and cleaned off it's it's fine all right so the versamark and then we are going to use the merry christmas for this one and where is my little merry christmas did i put it away i don't think i did nope i don't see it i have so much stuff up here right now we may have to use a different one since I just lost my little Merry Christmas. It's probably sitting right in front of me, but I have so much on my work surface right now. <laughs> I have the snowflake and the little punch, 
and I got the thankful, but I don't have the Merry Christmas. So let me grab one of the other. I must have dropped it somewhere. I'm going to grab the white embossed while I have it here. I'm going to look at the itty bitty greetings and we'll use or the yeah the itty bitty so let's see what will fit in there what about thinking of you at Christmas a lot of these will fit in there or you can do from my house from our house to yours I think I'll do that one from our house to yours and I haven't put this on the backing yet these are our new cling stamps. These things cling like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so when you put them on these little sheets, you have to be really careful to line them up just right. Because once they're on there, you're not getting it off. All right, so I'm going to line this one up. See what I mean? There we go. So now it has the little cling back on it. See how it holds it. All right. Since we lost the other one, we're going to do this one. Got to learn to improvise, right? It goes the same for this one. Like just press it down and lift it really quick so and then we're going to use the white embossed for this one. The, the white really looks really good on here. Another thing you can do if you have a little um, paintbrush, sometimes I'll just use the paintbrush and wipe off any excess that's around there that gets stuck in like any of the corners or anything. <sighs> All right, so let's emboss that one. And let's just emboss that one first and then we'll do the other ones. All right. Oh, welcome from Mexico, yes. All right, so again. And see how fast that'll emboss. Once it's really hot, it embosses really, really fast. And then when I'm done, I'll just wipe it with a little, like a damp cloth, just the window, and it'll be fine. All right, so let's put it together, and then we'll do the stamping for the little snowflakes. And then we'll put the little border on this one. Oops. I know this one ain't out because I just opened this like two weeks ago. All right, so now let's just stamp and punch our little, we'll have to emboss them. But we're just using six, so it won't be that bad. And these are little bitty. Oh, I need my embossing. We're going to do three of each color on this one. If you want to do more, just, you know, if you want to do it all the way around, then just do extra. All right. So there's our three red ones. And this is Coastal Cabana. Those are the colors that are in this designer series paper. All right, so again, I need the heat gun. 
I never get tired of watching it change. <laughs> I love the embossing. These are so cute embossed too. And then I'm just using our real red and I'm not even sure we have this thin real red. I didn't double check before I um, I know we have a little bit thicker so you can use the thicker one if you don't if we still don't have the other okay there's two of them somewhere there we go all right so now we are going to make a little red bow and have that ready I can't believe I lost that Merry Christmas sentiment It was sitting up here when I started. Somebody's, nobody's in this room except for me. Unless I have a little ghost. It's so funny because I watch, <laughs> I watch this other girl and she, she has a vlog too. She does crafts, but she has a vlog and she always talks about a ghost in her house. I know I probably will find it later, but I'll probably find it as soon as I'm done here <laughs> and I look up and I'll say, oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. So we are going to just do these the same way with the little dimensionals in the back. And we're going to just alternate colors on this one. Come on. These things are so tiny. But I love them because they fit these little images and stuff. So good. All right. Oh, the <laughs> I don't have a template I just have all the measurements and I gave all the measure measurements in the beginning and usually for this box I'll try to get it on YouTube and um, I'll put all the measurements in there I don't I just create the box and then I give the measurements for them and I usually list them all in the videos that I do all right, so this one says from our house to yours, and that's that one's a Merry Christmas. All right, and then here's the two um, for Thanksgiving. So that's it. It really didn't take that much longer to do both. So, I, but I know for some of you, it's um, dinner time. Hi, Lucy. Oh, thanks. Thanks for all the hearts. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate that. Thank you all <laughs> for coming. And I'll we'll catch you next week with another, I don't know if it'll what it'll be yet. <laughs> so I'll see you all later. Thanks everyone. Have a great one. Bye-bye.